Hello all, my name is Manjunath and I'm the founder of Code Design. So in this video, I'll be walking you through Code Design, the canvas, the experience, all of it. And then we'll be building a portfolio website. So let's get started. So let's head to codedesign.app and this is our dashboard. So we are going to go to the templates on the top right corner and you can see an array of templates that we have created and built for, for you guys. So you can either start from one of these templates. So uh, so I'm going to clone this particular uh, template for Linktree. Let's click the start project button. So we have the uh, we have a Linktree uh, project here, and we'll be using this. And it's a simple UI, and we'll be building this. Uh, we'll be building this from scratch using codedesign.app. So, uh, so we'll be we'll we will we'll cover a lot of things along the way, like uh, adding images, adding text, making links, etc. So let's let's give that a try. So I already have a blank canvas here. But before I get started, I want to just give a quick tour of the features and the sections that we have. Whatever you see in the canvas, I just want to give a quick tour. On the top left, you have the pages drop down where you can add a particular page. Then you have this responsive views like uh, desktop, mobile and tablet view and you can toggle between them. On the top right, you have the preview and publish button. We'll be using them a lot uh, over the course of this video. On the on the top right, we have the sidebar, and you can find uh, you can find the design library, which has been like hand. We have a hand curated list of designs that were built using Code Design. So you can just uh, drag and drop them into the canvas. So you can either click them or just drag and drop them into the canvas. Sweet, right? So. So that's the first tab, this is a design library. In the second tab, we have the elements, uh, like these are the building blocks of a page. So we have categorized them as blocks, columns, text, headings, etc. So you can also drag and drop them into the canvas and we'll be using this a lot while when we're building our portfolio page. Apart from this, we have layers, images, presets, etc. Okay. We will try to cover most of it. Whatever is left, we can we will cover it in the next part of this series. So let's get started. So what we're building is a portfolio, as you can see here, and we want a container, uh, something you know, something uh, that sits outside of all the portfolio elements. So I'm going to go with section here, and I'm going to drop it. So now we have a section. Uh, so if you go to style settings you can add a color a background color to this particular section i'm going to go with something light i think this is maybe, maybe a bit more darker and i think this is perfect now i want the height of this container to be uh to be to fit the height of the screen to, to do that you can go to layout settings and change the height to 100 vh okay what vh means is it means viewport height so viewport height is the height that matches the height of your screen. So we now have the container where we can place the portfolio elements. Yeah. So uh, to build the portfolio, like I, I want to add one more layer of a one more section that sits inside this outer section. So I'm going to drop the in, inner section here. Now we have an inner section, and I want the width of this section. Okay. As you can see in the demo, as you can see in the uh, template, this uh, the width of the uh, the width of the inner container is like constrained. So what what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to layout settings and I'm going to change the width to uh, px. Px stands for pixel, and I'm going to change it to 450 pixel. So now we have an inner container with 450 pixel in width. Now I want to align this. To the center of the screen or center of the container so so there's a simple hack that you can use to do that so you can set the left value to auto and the right value to auto so now the element now the container now the inner container sits at the center sweet right so uh, now what we can do is uh, we want to drop an image like for the uh, avatar so we want to drop an image 
So go to uh, photos and we already have the image uploaded here. I'm just going to uh, drop it inside this in your country. Now, uh, what if uh, I want? I want this. Uh, I want. I don't want the image to be this big. I want it to be smaller. So we again go to layout settings and we can change the width to px and also height. So since we want it to be consistent, we can set the height also to px and it looks good. Uh, now we want this image to have, if you see here, we want this image to have some rounded corners, right? So for that, you can go to style settings. Uh, inside the border, you have this particular property called radius. Okay, so uh, you can just type here 50 percentage. Okay, so what happens is this image gets a rounded corner border. Now what we want to do is we want to uh, place this image at the center, right? So uh, you can also you can like we what we previously did you can set the left value to auto and right value to auto to you know central aligning element. But uh, there's another way of which you can do this. So you you can choose the uh, the inner container. Okay, for the sake of clarity, let's just change the name of this to inner container. And we can call this the outer container. So uh, whatever name you give here, it will be reflected in the blue label and, and also the breadcrumbs. Just keep that in mind. And we can call this the avatar. Okay. Now we want to central align the the avatar. So what you can do is you can head to this. You can select the inner container, and you can go to alignment. Okay, you have the alignment settings here. Now what you can do is you can just uh, choose click this button. Uh, what it does is it positions the children like the image to the center and then you can also press press this button that aligns the image to the you know to the center both vertically and horizontally now it looks perfect right next what we can do is we can add next what we want to do is we want to add a name for this like a text field where the user can enter the name so what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose this uh, heading one and I'm going to place it here. Okay, you can double click the text here to you know change the like I'm going to just going to type a name here like Jack. Okay. So it's simple as that. So now we have an avatar and a name. If you want to change the font size, what you can do is you can just click here and adjust your font size. I'm just going to go with 30. It looks it looks good. So if you want to preview your design, what you can do is you can press the preview button here and yeah, you get the real time preview of the page which you are building. It looks okay. Now I think we can uh, continue with adding the continue with adding the other elements. So what I want to add a paragraph here where I will be describing my uh, skills and all that stuff. So you can just uh, go to the elements tab and you can drop the text element okay let's just place it under here and once you're done you can add the text uh, i'm just going to type a, a prompt i am jack and So I'm just uh, I'm I'm going to uh, write a prompt here. I'm just just going to write a random uh, prompt about Jack. Uh, Jack. Okay, it looks it looks good. So if you want to uh, if you want to cha make ch some changes to the font or you know uh, the weight of the font, you can do that here. Uh, all the all the typography and font level settings you can find them here. Okay. So uh, we we are we are partially done with the you know template and it looks okay. Now the next step what we're going to do is we want to add our links. So uh, so for this portfolio this what we're building is a clone of Linktree. So the specialty of Linktree is that you can add links. So to do that what you can do is uh, you can drop a section here. Okay. I'm just going to drop a section uh, and place it towards the bottom. Yeah, it looks uh, okay. Uh, and inside this, I'm just uh, going to drop a text. 
and in this text i'm go- just going to say like my website uh, it looks okay i think uh, now i want to align uh, like a uh, so this uh, this particular text has uh, some padding here like padding is the uh, the distance from the container like uh, you can use to set the distance from the container this text has a bit of padding here i'm just going to remove it okay now uh, i'm going to central align this text so to central align what you can do is you can go to align uh, alignment and then you can uh, just align it to the center so i'm just going to press here and here so now the text is aligned uh, now it looks okay but it looks kind of odd because the, the this particular section doesn't have a border so uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to style settings and i'm just going to add it some uh, a small border okay i'm just going to set the border width to one and for the color i'm just going to set it to a darker variant of red okay let's see the preview it looks it looks good i think it looks okay now uh, I want my website to kind of stand out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the uh, font weight of the text. So you can just select the text and you can just make it uh, maybe a bit more bold. And I'm also going to change the font size to 18 so that it kind of stands out. Okay, now it looks kind of okay. It looks kind of good. Uh, now, uh, if you want to duplicate it, like I want, I have, I want to add my LinkedIn profile, I also want to add my Facebook profile and Instagram. So what you can do is you can just, uh, you can just press, you can just select the uh, container. Okay, for for the sake of simplicity, let's uh, let's call this uh, link one. <coughs> okay, I'm just going to call this link one. And for the sake of uh, simplicity, I'm just going to duplicate this. So you can just press the. So how do you do duplicate it? Uh, if you are on a Mac, what you can do is you can press the Command D button. And if you are on Windows, what you can do is you can press the Control D. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to select the element which I want to duplicate, and then I'm press, going to press Command D or Control D. Alternatively, what you can do is uh, you can also click the three dot icon here and press the duplicate button. I hope that makes sense so I'm just going to create a few duplicates of this and I'm going to call this uh, link to and link three. Okay. this looks perfect uh, almost perfect but they're kind of collapsing on top of one another so I just want to you know, space it apart a bit so what you can do is you can choose this uh, link to and add some spacing here like you can just add a uh, 5 pixel uh, spacing to the top and I'm just going to do it with this one also okay, it looks it looks I think we can we can uh, increase the spacing to 10 okay this looks actually good now I'm going to change my text here to say uh, LinkedIn and Twitter. Okay. Now uh, you can also like if I want to add one more, you can just uh, duplicate it. And for this, I'm just going to call it Instagram. And this is link four. So now we have added. Uh, now we have added four different links to our profile it looks it looks good the, the next step is to we want to actually add the link okay we have the like uh, at the moment all these links are not clickable like you can't click any of them so to actually add a link what you can do is you can select the container okay where you want to add the link so uh, you can just select the text and if you scroll down you will find the option to you will find a heading called link so this is where you can add a link to your project okay so i'm just going to write the i'm just going to add a link to codesign.app and if you want to open it open it in a new tab if you want to open open the link in a new tab you can just toggle this button and if you go to preview yeah you can see that the link has been created perfect now you can just go ahead and add links to uh, all other sections so this is linkedin
and yeah now it looks almost perfect uh, we, we, you can what you can do is you can just uh, make it if you if you if you would like to you know see the content at the center what you can do is you can just you can just add a bit of padding here uh, some padding at the top so but uh, the thing with padding is uh, to add a padding uh, as i mentioned earlier you can just go to layout settings and adjust your padding here but if you would prefer to add just padding to the top and bottom what you can do is you can you can press the second button here and you can then set padding to individual sides like you can set padding to just top and bottom okay so i'm just going to add a padding of 50 pixel here and at the bottom also i'm just going to add a padding of 50 let's see how it looks it looks good uh, maybe we can change it to 80 okay yeah this is perfect so we have created a very small uh, page uh, which looks like a bit like link uh, link tree and you can now use it for your own projects now uh, if you want to publish it what you can do is you can go to publish tab here and you can press the deploy current version okay so once you press it uh, this is the this is the staging link which has been created for your page uh, if you'd like to you can also uh, press the add domain here uh, to uh, connect your own domain so if you want to host it in, in your name.com you can just add your domain here that's it for today and i hope the video was uh, helpful for you guys to create your own portfolio uh, we'll be doing a lot more of these videos well uh, we'll be teaching you how to uh, build awesome websites and web projects and web apps with code design i hope that's something for you guys to look forward to so this is me signing off and I hope you guys have a great day. Cheers.